We've all heard the phrase, age like fine wine, but what does it actually mean? What's the point of waiting years to drink wine that I could just as easily open and drink right now? Well, patience is a virtue and good things come to those who wait. But there's a bit of a misconception with aging wines. While people will tell you that wine gets better with age, the vast majority of wine, like 90% of it, is really meant to be drunk young, around five years old or less. So don't be afraid to pop those bottles. The general rule is that there are certain grapes known for their age worthiness and thus better to lay down. The better the producer and the better the vintage, the longer wines made from those grapes can age. And Nebbiolo may be the number one age worthy red. Good Nebbiolo has a drinking window of up to 30 plus years. Other notable age worthy grapes include Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Tempranillo, Chardonnay, Semillon, and Riesling. Two things change as we age wine, flavor and structure. Let's first talk flavor. Wine has three flavor types, primary, secondary, and tertiary. Primary flavors occur from fermentation, lemon, rose, or strawberry. Secondary flavors are things the winemaker does, vanilla flavors from oak, butter flavors from malolactic fermentation, or biscuit flavors from allowing the wine to age in the dead yeast cells. But tertiary flavors, those are the ones that come strictly from aging. It's a transformation of our primary flavors. Instead of fresh lemon, you get candied lemon with age. Instead of fresh roses, dried roses. Instead of ripe strawberry, stewed strawberry. And these primary flavors, as they transform, they also fade. The fruit will start to leave the wine and it will start to taste more like earth. Minerals, mushrooms, leather, tea, herbs, tar, nutty, honey, basically anything that isn't fruit, making the wine much more savory. The second thing that changes with age is texture. In this case, we're talking tannins and acid. Red wine becomes lighter and smoother and not as firm and austere. This is because the tannins and acid fade with time. White wines also lose their acid over time and become richer, fuller, and sometimes oily. So after knowing all of this, you may ask, where does one acquire such glorious, ageable nectar of the gods? Well, finding aged wines out in the wild is actually pretty rare and fairly pricey. You basically have three options to try aged wines. Number one, you buy the wines young and you age them yourself. A bit time consuming, but definitely way to go if you're building a cellar. Number two, you buy wines that were aged before release. Regions like Barolo, Rioja, and Vintage Champagne actually mandate a partial aging of their wines before they hit the market. Or sometimes specific producers make the decision themselves and they won't release their wines until they feel they're old enough and ready. Your third option, Find them at a retailer or restaurant who aged them for you. This is the most common, but it's also the most expensive option. After all, the retailer had to sit on that inventory for years and someone's gotta pay for that. When it comes down to it, aged wines aren't necessarily better or worse, they're just different. Some people love aged wine, some people don't. Personally, I would encourage you to try some at some point in your wine drinking career. They're usually worth the experience there's just something romantic about opening up a bottle of wine that was made the year you were born and thinking about the journey it had up until then, or the year you were married, or the year you had a child, or the year you took a special trip. Maybe I'll see you in a few years for this one. I'm gonna lay this bad boy down.